Olsen against Lise Jar, fresh from victory last week in Finland. But sadly, the Olympic champion, Victor Axelsen, has had to pull out. So we've got another men's doubles for you. And what a terrific replacement match because we have the reigning world champions, uh, Kang Ming Hyuk and Seo Seung Jae of Korea, up against last year's All England champions, Fikri and Mulana of Indonesia. So if we needed a replacement match, you couldn't have thought of one better than this one. Well, this is from the top half of the draw. And as you can see, none of the second round matches in this top half has been completed yet. Uh, we have the defending champions, Alfian and Ardianto. They're the number one seeds. They'll play against Lane and Vendi. And we also have former champions in the form of Hoki and Kobayashi, the number six seeds. They won the title two years ago here at the Denmark Open. So our match all ready to go. The players were warned some time ago that the men's singles with Axelsen and Lizzie Sharp was not going to happen. So here come the reigning world champions, Kang Ming Hyuk and Su Xiang Jae. Second consecutive appearance as a pair at the Denmark Open last year. They lost in the very first round to the new world number ones. New now, they weren't world number ones at the time. Ranky Reddy and Shetty from India. Their opponents, Mohamed Suhibul Fikri and Bagas Mulana. Caused a sensation when they won the All England title last year, beating Asan and Seti Awan, two time former winners themselves, in the final in Birmingham last year. Well, this will be just a second meeting between these two pairs. The first time they met was in the quarterfinal of the recent China Super 1000 event. And the Koreans won on that occasion in two straight games, just under 40 minutes. 21-15, 21-17. That confirms what I've just told you. Players, welcome. Korea, would you pick red or black? Red, you'll be black. You've won the toss. Serve. Who will serve? Fikri is serving, serve. receiving, and right. So, very fitting that the pair in the black shirts chose the black side and the red side for the... Well, it's not really red shirts, is it? I think it's more of a pink colour. Very nice it is, too. Well, the current world champions are the number four seeds, and this is the 24-year-old Kang Ming Hyuk. That equates to six foot in height. And they're one place down from their career high of four. Born in Suwon, the northwest of South Korea. And as far as his partner is concerned, Su Young Jae, well, he's twice been a semi-finalist in the mixed doubles with Che Jung, with whom he won a gold at the World Championships. So two golds at this year's World Championships, the 26-year-old uh, from Jeonju. Turned 26, incidentally, last month. And he's making his fifth appearance here. Well, in the first round, uh, they beat uh, Pong Sekon and uh, Wong Seton of uh, Thailand, uh, Tongkam. Uh, won in two straight games. They've been promoted from the reserve list. They replaced Arjun and Kapila of India in the main draw. And Mohamed uh, Sohibul Fikri uh, turned 20, will turn 24 next month from Bangdung in West Java, and that equates to five foot nine and a half. 14 in the world ranking at the moment. Did spend a total of three weeks across two different spells at number 11 on the world rankings. Abagas Molana from Silachap in central Java. 
And he's the taller of the two, 182. That's five foot 11 and a half. A third consecutive appearance here Ready for the play. Indonesian pair, and they beat the European Championship silver medalists, Alex Dunn and Adam Hall, in the first round in two straight games. So, Philippe Young Chi from the United States of America is our umpire for this one, and Jesper Larsen of Denmark, the service judge. Four finals from 16 tournaments for the Korean pair so far in 2023, whereas two finals from 18 tournaments for the Indonesian combination. And in fact, lost both their finals, whereas this pair from Korea have won three titles, the Malaysian Masters 500, the Australian Open, and then, of course, gold at the World Championships in Copenhagen. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Seo Sung Jae and Kan Min Yuk, Korea. And on my left, Bagas Maulana and Mohamed Shohaibel Fikri, Indonesia. <laughs> Mohamed Shohaibel Fikri to serve to Seo Sung Jae. Love all. Play. Well, as far as the Korean pair are concerned, I was telling you that this is their second consecutive appearance as a pair. A year ago, they lost in the very first round to Ranky, Reddy and Shetty, as I was telling you, whereas their opponents two years ago reached the quarter-final, where they lost to the pair we've just been watching from Denmark, Astrup and Rasmussen, who went on to reach the final that year. But they caused a sensation in the second round two years ago, this pair from Indonesia. They beat the number one seeds, Gideon and Sukumolio, 23-21 in the deciding game. Service over, 2-1. Service over to all. There, oh. yeah, good attacking play by the Indonesians. Three breaking two. down the normally very solid defence of the Koreans. Well, pairs from these two nations, Korea and Indonesia, have a very similar record here at the Denmark Open since the inception of the Super Series, and now World Tour, started in 2007, the Super Series. That's gone just wide. Three pairs from Korea have won four men's doubles titles. And that's the same scenario for Indonesian pairs. Three different Indonesian pairs have won four men's doubles titles here since 2007. Yeah, I like that. Good attacking play. Five, three. Service Three. error. Oh, errors on the return of server, I should say. Consecutive rallies. That's two gifted points. Oh, hesitation. They both, both thought the other was going for it. 
That's where you need four, verbal seven. communication. Mario Miranat, the Indonesian men's doubles coach. Service fault oh, call too high. Too high. Called Service on Su Siang J. Must be the longest rally so far. Yeah, always has such good variation on the attacking play. Indeed, it is the longest rally. Saw so Siung Jay from the back of the court, the left hander. Really goes full power, smashes one after another and keeps going with the power. No, he likes to vary it, and I like that tactic. I think the variation of the pace is very effective. Service over. Nine, six. Yeah, that's great placement. Couldn't have walked over there and placed it any better. Game interval with a handsome interval. five point advantage. The unseeded Fikri and Molana. Eleven, six. Play. So eleven six, the advantage, just six minutes played to get to the mid the game interval. Well the Korean coach very intense with his coaching break there. Speaking extremely quickly. Twelve six. Oh, yes, that's a very efficient kill. 
from Kang. Eight, 12. Real snap of that wrist to bring the shuttle down quickly. Nice, absolutely lovely shot. Nine, 12. Cross court net shot into the open space, beautifully played. down from quite a height from Morlana. Service fall called. Service fall high. called this time on Kang. Service over. Both the Koreans have been faulted 14. for serving too Over. high. Whole of the shuttle must be struck. Over. Below. 1.15 meters. Hence the little perspex devices the side of the court that the service judge used to determine that height. What a rally. There's the variation again in pace from Seoul. Got to be the longest rally so far. Fabulous. Oh. What a terrific rally. 15, 11. 47 shots. Yeah, he hesitated, Saucy Young Jake. That's why he mishit that final shot. Yeah, he has this awareness of where the gaps are. Because he, he he simply wasn't looking where the gap was. He just instinctively knew where the gap was. And that's a very special trait for a player to have. Service over. 16, 12. Well, I've got to hand it to the Indonesians. They've really come out firing on all cylinders in their second round match. Service over. 13. 16. 
Oh, yes. That was far more proactive in that rally 14, by the world 16. champions. Look how they're encroaching forward, looking to take the shuttle early at the front of the court. Nice block. Down! Yeah. All got very fast and furious. Service over. 17, 14. So Sion Jake tried to slow up the pace by a little block but he mistimed it. That's a great angle on the smash. Service over. Fifteen. Seventeen. Became the first male player to do the doubles double at the World Championships for 24 years. When he won two golds, this man in Copenhagen earlier this year. First player since Kim Dong Moon in 1999 which also happened to be World Championships in Copenhagen. Just one point, the deficit now. 16, 17. Over 18, 16. You could hear the strings break as he tried to play that shot. 19, 16. Two points away from the opening game for the Indonesian pair. defence from the Indonesians. That was remarkable. And I think Kang was a little frustrated that they hadn't already won the rally. And therefore, going for the round-the-head kill, making a complete mess of it. That is superb defence. Four game-point opportunities for Fikri and Mulana. Oh, good neck court. Service over. 17, 20.
on the second time of asking. And Fikri and Mulana take the opening game against the reigning... Oh, there's a challenge. There's a challenge, I beg your pardon, from the Koreans. Well, I obviously saw that as long. And indeed, it was way long. That's why I'm so challenge surprised at the challenge. But I suppose yeah. on game point down, you might as well. First game won by Mohamed Shahibul, Fikri, and Bagas Malana, 21-17. Umpire confirming that scoreline of 21-17. 19 minutes for the opening game, and the world champions are in trouble here. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Second game, love all, play. So last year's All England champions, Fikri and Molana of Indonesia, won the game to the good against the reigning world champions, Kang and Su of Korea. Oh, my goodness. Service over. That is superb play. One from love. Kang Min Kyok. Got the net cord and the deflection. He was trying to play it across court, I think, anyway. But just look how this shuttle bounced off that tape. I think he was actually trying to play a little half court push and it turned into a perfect net shot. Oh, he's overdone it. But again, there's that Three, two, awareness of where to place the shuttle, where the gaps are. It was a lovely idea. It was just wrong execution. Service over. 
over. Three, all. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my goodness, what on earth happened there? That's a wayward Six. smash from Ken Min Hyuk. For all. a little nervous, isn't he, Korean coach? Service oh, a service fault yeah. called. Third time the service Koreans over. have been faulted. Second time for Kang. Five, all. Jesper Larsen, the service judge. right in between seven, the two Indonesian five. players, and I suspect Jump. that there was slight Jump. hesitation from Fikri, thinking that maybe his partner would play the defensive shot, and because of that slight hesitation, that's why he made the error on his defence. Struggling a bit today is Kang Ming Hyuk. Not the sort of form that we saw in Copenhagen. 
in August at the World Championships. Retrieving from Fikri and again behind the back, but it rarely works. Even if a player does the behind the back shot, Ten, usually seven. it's not of good enough quality. And the next shot is then disposed of, as indeed happened in that rally. to the mid-game interval and the interval. reigning world champions Kang and Suo with a four-point advantage in the second game but of course it was the Indonesians that won the first Eleven seven play. So eleven seven for the world champions here in this second round match. Oh. Yeah, that's good aggression by the Service Indonesians. 8-11. Yeah, the smash across the body of Kang Ming Hyuk. Serving the Indonesians well. And that's great judgment from So Siang Jae. 12-8. Opened up a five point cushion now. Thirteen, eight. a nice serve considering he's been faulted twice for an illegal serve that was lovely Uh, 
there, the lift from Kang was woefully short. Ten, 14. Got what it deserved. This one. That's barely half court. Oh, that's delightful. What a super shot from Fikri. 11, 14. Okay, he looks a little more relaxed now, doesn't he? So he should. All point advantage for his players in this second game. All point advantage for the number four seeds. That's wonderful play. My goodness me. Did he read that well? Thirteen fifteen. And all of a sudden, it's us see. Gap that's narrowing, it appears all the time. Six points adrift a moment ago. Now only two points in it. Wait. And five of the last six points. Okay. That's gone long. Only one point in it. 14, 15. Six of the last seven points now to this Indonesian pair. Oh, that's a good smash. Very good smash. Service over. 16, 14. This is a big point. Very important. Oof. Well, had that have gone over, it would have been an outright winner once again. Knew where the gap was. Uh, just execution of shot, letting him down. Oh, dear me. Strings gone in the racket of uh, Kang Ming Hyuk. 16 all. Only consolation was the strings went in the middle of the racket. So he knows that he was timing it well. Eight of the last ten points to the Indonesians. into the lead, would you believe it? 
nine of the last 11 points. 8-14 adrift. And now into the lead at this crucial stage of this second game. A real lesson in why you never give up in the sport of badminton. Things can change so quickly. Thank you. Sixteen. Yeah. Deceived by the block, Fikri, and therefore late on to the shot. And 17. a short oh. lift. A short lift, which was severely punished. There, he's so late onto that. Each and every point so precious at this stage of a game. going to take the half chances who's got the nerve to make it count yeah. oh. that's good play that's very good play Service over. Good defence from Mulana. 19. Great 18. stretch from Fikri at the front of the court, but my goodness, wasn't Kang quick there. So two points away from clinching this second game and forcing a decider the world champions. Now that's a good return. And I like that from Mulana. So will it be a game point or a match point? This rally will answer that question. Oh, my goodness. Another error from Kan Ming Hyuk. And it is indeed a match point opportunity 20, for the Indonesians, point, Fikri 19. and Molana. That's a good serve. It's an even better return. My goodness. 20 all. 20 all, and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Pushed it wide. 
And now, having just saved a match point, 20. the world champions have a game point opportunity to send this to a decider. one of the first loose shots from Sosyang Jay all night. 21 all. Well, what cool thinking by Mulana. Just to play the shuttle into the open space, a little drop shot. It would have been awfully tempting to give that a real thump. So it is a second match point opportunity. 21 for the Indonesians, Fikri and Molana, to beat the reigning world champions. Oh. Oh, that's very, very well saved. Service over. 22, all. Oh, service ah. call. oh, service call called. That's the third time that he's been faulted for too high on the serve. 23-22. Yeah, he lifts his left arm higher and higher and higher before he makes the serve. So it's the third match point opportunity for Fikri and Mulana. Will it be third time lucky? There's nothing lucky about that. Well, they took their chances, the Indonesians. 24-22 in the second game, having won the first 21-17. 45 minutes to beat the reigning world champions, uh, Kang Ming Hyuk and So Siang Jae. And a uh, delight for the Indonesians, and, and rightly so. That is a big, big win for them. Kept it flat over the net. And Kang, who was struggling today, in all honesty. Not the sort of form that we've seen him play in the past. But all credit to the Indonesians, who really capitalised on that. First victory over their Korean opponents in their second meeting. Their confirmation of how they did it, 21-17, 24-22, having saved a game point opportunity in that second game. So Fikri and Molana safely through to the quarterfinals tomorrow. And quarterfinals tomorrow will start a little later than today. We'll have two court coverage again, the same as today. It won't start until 12 noon local time. That's 1000 GMT. So in the meantime, until quarterfinals from all of us here, and especially from me, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.
Please welcome the technical officials to port number one.